I think sometimes that we're all little um, statues on the table of Zeus. Sky Ross, uh, welcome. Um, do you remember the first thing you said to each other when you meet again and started talking about you uh, coming back to uh, Mochiba? Um, well, the first thing was, uh, hello, what are you doing here? Because <laughs> uh, we sort of bumped into each other in the street in London. Ross lives out in, in uh, Los Angeles, so I was really surprised to see him in London this day. So, um, yeah, and then um, we just kind of talked about I don't know, just just saying hello and catching up and what you've been up to and stuff. And then it was, you know, a few weeks later that we got together and Paul came over from France because he lives in France now. And we had a meal and, you know, we was just, you know, just talking about, um, you know, we was talking about, you know, like the past and shows and just having a laugh and having a giggle, getting very drunk. You know, and then started talking about the possibility of doing some stuff together in the future. Okay, so that's the very first conversation after, a, how, for how long did, didn't you have, have seen each other? Seven years. Seven years. What, wasn't that kind of awkward or was it, did it feel, felt natural? Yeah, it was, I mean, it was nerve wracking at first. To just, um, you know, we wasn't really sure how we would be, but, you know, once we had a few drinks and felt relaxed, it was fine. Yeah. And how, how was it for you? It was nice, yeah. Um, I'd been speaking to Sky a little bit on via the internet because um, she wants to move out to California and was asking me, you know, where a good place to look for a house would be. And so we've been talking and, um, you know, we still, throughout the time uh, that we weren't working together, we shared the same manager, so we still knew what each other was, well as, was up to and we would listen to each other's records a bit and, you know, um, we were always just round the corner if we wanted to talk to each other. It wasn't like, you know, we'd completely been estranged, you know. So, it was kind of um, inevitable at some point we were going to bump into each other and, and it was very pleasant, you know, it was very nice. And I think it was good that it was an accident that we bumped into each other because if you plan those kind of things, it makes you nervous. So if it just happens to you, it's, it's kind of easier to deal with. Mm -hmm. Like it was meant to be, maybe. Yeah. I think sometimes that we're all little um, statues on the table of Zeus's, uh, <laughs> Zeus's coffee table, like in Jason and the Argonauts, and he can move us around. And he says, oh, now, yes, I want them to <laughs> hang out together. <laughs> And, and, and what kind of, kind of feeling did you eventually decide that you, you, you wanted to make music together again? Um, it, you don't really decide about music, it just happens. You know, we started to make um, some just basic riffs and chords and I would send them to Sky and she would write melodies and I would send them to my brother and this, it, the melodies would suggest words and so after a while, uh, music has a life of its own and it tells you what it wants you to do. Uh, if you try and control music, it doesn't end up very good. Yeah. How was that whole, because you all live in uh, different places, how was that mm -hmm. whole process of yeah, crafting uh, uh, a, a new record? Because I can imagine sometimes it's, it seems a little bit difficult. It wasn't difficult to write this album. Um, and the distances between us, because we were in different places, was quite beneficial because it meant that that um, we had space and time to come up with our own ideas. Um, but we would get together occasionally, you know, before we did the proper recordings, I went round to Sky's house and we would just listen to the tracks and make sure that we were all happy with the way that they were going. And, um, you know, and then I would go down to my brother's house and, and, and we would edit and, and mix the record. So there was a bit of traveling between us, you know, but um, we spend so much time traveling and away from home that while we were recording an album, it's a real luxury to be able to do it, you know, while you're out, you are at home and, and you, you have that kind of, you're in your comfort zone and you, mm -hmm. you feel um, not under any pressure, you know, you could get up at four o'clock in the morning and think, oh, I really fancy recording some guitar now, you know. And, and that's difficult if you're in a studio with engineers and things like that. You, 
you have to phone them up and get them out of bed. And, <laughs> um, so it's a, it a luxury for us, really. Okay.